Hey everybody, welcome back to Kinfolk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, we're gonna go hook the water up real quick for the irrigation so we can get back to watering our grapes tonight. Uh, we're on a kind of a dry spell. We hadn't had any rain in quite some time and no, uh, no rain in sight for another seven days that I've seen. So we're gonna hook up the irrigation. I wanna pull some grapes and do a grape comparison. I had one of my subscribers ask me to do a grape comparison. I thought that'd be a pretty cool idea and stick around, we're gonna to go to the house. I wanna show you all the wood that's been brought in in order to frame our new house. Well, I went out there and got some grapes. Uh, I got five different kinds. Uh, we have five varieties in our U-Pick. Uh, if you ever come out and you see my small vineyard over here, I don't have a clue what's out there. I've lost track of everything. I know one or two plants and that's about it. Uh, but out here I kept up <laughs> and marked every variety we have. We have the Supreme, the Ice and the Black Beauty, the Darlene and the Carlos. They're all excellent tasting grapes. Uh, I do have my favorites and I have my least favorite. But when they're all ripe, they're all fantastic. I love them all, and I really don't have a preference. They're all just muscadines to me. I love them. Uh, for making wine, I do have a preference. Uh, the Ison variety that we have makes an awesome, really, really uh, strong uh, burgundy red type wine. It's just phenomenal. I love it. The Ison makes an excellent wine, and the Carlos make an excellent wine. They're really small grapes. Uh, but they're fantastic. They're good to eat. I love to eat them, uh, but they're just really on the small side. I'll show you a comparison of all the grapes uh, next to a quarter. I was asked to do a comparison next to a quarter. There's my quarter. Uh, this is a Darlene, and they're not quite ready yet. I still have a couple of more weeks before they're ready. They will be, they will be a more of a copper-ish uh, color. That's a good one. Now, don't get me wrong. I will eat that one here in just a second. <laughs> But uh, it'll be more of a, it'll turn more of that color right there if you can see it that well. Uh, the whole grape will be. Uh, but it's a really good grape. That's compared to a quarter that, right there. If I can keep it still. But that's about how big they get. That's the average size. And the Carlos, that's about the perfect average size for a Carlos. It's just a little little smaller than a quarter. But they'll be that, that, that same copper looking color. And these are excellent, excellent grapes. I love them, but they're small. They're just small, but they put on tons and tons of grapes. This will be the Supreme. They're the big ones. They're, uh, that's about an average for our Supreme. You will find some jumbos, and we call them double yolks <laughs> because some of them look like they're actually two grapes grown into one. We've had some monsters. I mean, some really, really big ones. That's what I like about the Supreme. You go out there. You don't know what you're going to find, and whenever you find a big one, you have to brag to everybody about the big one. But that's that's about the average size for a Supreme. This is your Ison. It's a little bigger than the Carlos. It's a self-fertile. It puts on a ton of grapes. It is my absolute favorite. They are awesome tasting muscadine. To me, my opinion, out of my five varieties, this is what a muscadine is supposed to taste like. It's the Ison. I absolutely I love them. I can never pick enough of them. This is the Black Beauty. It's about the same size. If I can keep them from rolling down. It's about the same size as the uh, Supreme. And that's about their average size. I can't keep them from rolling. That's, that's about their average size compared to a quarter. They're good grape. Really excellent grape. Probably my least favorite in the vineyard. But when they're ripe, you could tell this one didn't ripe at all. I mean, it's still soft. But it's, it's still got a way to go. That when it's got that little greenish pink tint, it's not quite ripe. But uh, that is a still a really, really good tasting grape. But uh, my favorite is always the Ison. Second is the Supreme. Uh, and if I had to pick a third, these Darlene, <laughs> the more I eat them, the better they are. I just when they're ripe, they are fantastic. The, this is still a good grape. But when they get really, really ripe here in the next couple of weeks. These will go quick. They will really go quick. And the Carlos is a good grape. Black Beauty is probably my last, least favorite. 
Carlos are really good grape. Uh, heavy, heavy producers and self-fertile, so they'll help uh, pollinate all your other grapes. But if you're looking to make wine, this makes some of the best white wine ever. Y'all come on. Come, y'all wanna go for a walk? I know they do. They've been stuck over here with us. We've been keeping the gate closed so they don't bother the truck. Everybody's scared of the German Shepherds. And I have signs coming down the driveway. Uh, beware, protected by German Shepherds. Just to give everybody a heads up if they come down that we have German Shepherds. Now when the U-Pick is open, we keep them put up uh, because everybody's scared of German Shepherds. And uh, they've never bothered, these are the sweetest dogs ever. But it's that fear factor. We just keep them put up, let everybody do their thing. And at the end of the day, when we close, we let them back out. But uh, the guys that were bringing the, <laughs> bringing the wood this morning said they had been at the end of the driveway since 5 a.m. And they said, we like to start early. And he said, we sat down there for a long time in the dark. And he said, I started to walk up the driveway. And I seen that sign <laughs> protected by German Shepherd. He said, I just turned back around and waited for the sun to come up. And uh, <laughs> that's when we seen them. I mean, at the crack of light, I heard Mia bark. And uh, I seen them come down the driveway. And we were two fists in the air. Happy, happy, happy. Look at all this lumber. This is just an absolute ton, ton, ton of wood. It was two 18 wheeler loads and he said he was supposed to bring a straight truck out full of lumber but uh, i had to leave before the before that came out and i think that is down here on the end but it's going around the entire house just tons and tons of wood what a change yeah they brought this out because that flashing wasn't here yeah they just brought this out this is our deck and that's what i was looking for all our deck boards all our decking boards nice 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 Tons of deck boards. Tons and tons of decking boards. And it just keeps going. Look at all this wood. They said that they're going to start Monday. Uh, and should be done in 10 days. That's what they told us. I'm not a, I'm not a framer. <laughs> I'm a truck driver. So I'm holding them to it. But they're getting a start. Our builders already got in touch with us, told us that there's going to be tons of wood showing up today. And we're like, it's here, buddy. It's here. And he said, they'll start Monday. So he's still on top of it. We have an excellent contractor. But that's it. Ready to go. We are super duper excited. I'm ready to hear some hammering, some sawing. I'm ready to see some stuff happen. It's gonna be nice. Hopefully we'll sell these boys some grapes. <laughs> yeah, these little Carlos grapes again, they are really good. I, I just love them. They're small, super small, but they're full of flavor. Tons and tons of flavor. They're supposed to have a, a low sugar content, but you can't tell. They, they are so good. Really, really good. Mm. And just such a different flavor than all the other grapes. Just such, an, such a great flavor. Make, like I say, they make a great uh, white wine. And then the icing, I mean, you can't go wrong with the icing. That's my all time favorite for now. We're gonna be planting some more grapes here pretty soon. This fall, I'm starting up there with the blackberries were. And I'm gonna put in some Pam, a lot of Pam. Those are the greener scumpernongs. Lots of Pam. I want to try a row of pineapple. Uh, it's supposed to be a, uh, a scumper on as well. It has a little slight hint of pineapple to it. It's a self-fertile, so I'm going to put it in the middle to sort of cross-pollinate the others. Hopefully, I can make some good wine out of it. And uh, a Granny Val. I'm going to try the Granny Val uh, as well. That's a self-fertile. That should help cross-pollinate cross all the others. And it's a smaller grape. It's going to be a good wine making grape, hope, hopefully. I will try. But uh, after that, the following year, I got plans for the lower section. I'm going to add some more purple muscadines down here. I want to add a few more rows down here to fill in the rest of the pasture. And uh, But I'm taking a little at a time. Like I say, I'm doing the upper end this year and then the lower end next year. I'm really not talking much about it because uh, that's a long ways off. But this one, the lower, the upper part, the upper pasture, uh, I've already been buying wood and getting ready for stuff to 
uh, start planting up there. So if you want to get muscadines this year, I would highly recommend getting your trellises put in now. I know it's hot. I'm just rolling in sweat right now, just walking around. Uh, it's super hot, super humid, and, and not letting off neither. Uh, but if you want to start putting in your trellises, do it as soon as you can. Uh, one thing I notice is stuff starts to sell out. Uh, the wire becomes harder to find. I've had a lot of comments. Where do I get my nine gauge wire? Home Depot, Lowe's, Tractor Supply, same place you get your post, your T post, your end post. Um, they sell it, but it's expensive. So get it now uh, because it will go come fall. Everybody else is putting in trails. There's people that don't watch my channel, people that just want, you know, want to plant some grapes. It sells out quick. Excuse me. <laughs> Another thing is Ison's Nursery sells out every year. Uh, to me, the, 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 Better grapes go first. <clears throat> the Supreme, they sell out. You guys want them big jumbo Supreme, get your orders in. They start taking orders in November. Just a tip to my subscribers, get your orders in. The Supreme go fast. The good grapes go fast. Um, they sell out every year, every year. So I would highly recommend to get your trellises built, put it on your calendar in November, or uh, go like their Facebook page too. They Ison's Nursery always puts out uh, tons of uh, posts on their facebook page to keep us updated on what they're selling what they're shipping when they're shipping uh, they're also shipping grapes now for you guys that may want some grapes uh, they're shipping the supreme grapes for everybody to try out so supreme is a really good grape it's it's really it bounces back and forth between the ices for me one and two but uh anyway love you guys to death thank you so much we're super excited for the house build i will be putting out tons of videos coming up because i like to record this for me and my family, you know, if, um, as a little personal record, you know, it's kind of cool that I can keep a little personal uh, video diary of all this. So I will be videoing what it hit just about every day. <laughs> Y'all gonna get a lot of videos coming out because just about every day I see something new happening, I'm gonna video it. We're gonna talk about it, and, uh, and I'm gonna be promoting my vineyard. So there it is. <laughs> We're getting super excited. Thanks for checking out my little video. Love you guys to death and really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed, please help me out and subscribe. And if you know anybody that may like this type of content, let them know about Kenfolk Farm. I'm trying my hardest to get my numbers up. I've been doing this for a long time and I want to get my numbers up, up, up. I'm really working hard here lately to get my numbers built up. I'm looking towards retirement. <laughs>